Dan Williams, Survive Outdoors. As promised, today we're going to do a review and an unboxing of a new portable wood stove uh, by Bigfoot Bushcraft Solo Burner. This comes in two sizes. This is for one and two people max. Uh, then they make a larger size for four. But before we get into that and the unboxing, I want to talk briefly, as I discuss many times about misinformation, you know, and everybody gets defensive. Oh, well, that's the truth. I read about it. This is American Academy physician, American family physician, okay? So American family physician, I get monthly and it has tons of articles and it keeps us updated on the new treatment interventions, the new assessments. Well, look at the, this is on kind of my specialty area, bugs and bee stings and wasps. I was all excited. So if we go to that article, it talks about, and I just got this last month, guys. It talks about how to remove a bee stinger, right there. And then it cites a reference. Now in that little blurb, it talks about Use a credit card, take the blade of the card at an angle almost parallel to the skin. It goes in this detail about scraping the bee sting, uh, the stinger out of the skin. Because if you grab it, it was thought that you would push more venom into the skin. 12 years ago, that was debunked 100%, and it was tested and retested and retested. So if you go to the source, that they cite, so let's go back to the references and we go to 23, insect sting reactions to bees, that's where he cited that from, 2005. So here is a rather prestigious medical journal keeping us up to date and the guy didn't do the time to find out the recent data, just threw it in there. So you always got to be ready and you always got to watch for that stuff. Um, so just an FYI. So on bee stingers, just grab the suckers and pull them out. You're good. So now to the unboxing. So I obviously I've read maybe a few reviews on this and it's got a bunch of good reviews. But I'm kind of anxious to see what we have here. Well, we have a... canvas bag and a box so that's nice has their logo on the front Bigfoot bushcraft it's a durable canvas got the zipper it is five pounds so that is relevant very relevant if you're going to be going on a backpacking trip now this will fit in a backpack uh, no question about it, but it is five pounds, so that is important to note. Let's see what we got. We have instructions, and what do we do with those? We throw them aside. All right, now let's see what we got. Should be a pretty simple setup. This should be the, I think this opens up, and you know what, here we go, you gotta love guys right, they throw the directions out and then they struggle and say no I got it, I got it. So my wife is going over to the directions, focusing on it, because she's in her seventh glory right now. All right. So, nice little bushcraft humor. Let's go through the directions and look at that and see what we got. Yeah, it folds open right here and then it clamps onto the base and that is your fire base so it doesn't get you don't get coals all over and start a nice fire and there we go so that's your fire base 
It also has, when you put your tinder in here and your wood, I guess you could also use charcoal if you wanted to bring a little plastic bag of charcoal. So you have that. Correctly, a very simple setup. And we have the base. And so we have. Can you see that? It goes right in that little clamp. Right there. We clip that over. And it holds it really nice and secure. And we come over here. Put that in there. Almost just like a luggage. And that clamps down. And there you have your base. Your stand. Your little grill catcher there for or your guard for catch your tinder and then the grill itself when I saw this I really like the grill because it had the ability to you can change the level of the height and we are going to go back to directions again I think actually it's like this let me look at this yeah that's how it is so you can actually change the level <clears throat> now my question would be once you have a nice roaring fire and we're going to get her going in a minute how do you lower this grill if you have a nice roaring fire I think that might be a little difficult but it does have the ability to lower and raise this grill I also don't know as you know this Stainless steel, the stainless steel here is, uh, all stainless steel comes in grades. You buy a $1,200 Weber, I'm here to tell you that that stainless steel grill is, it's going to be a high quality stainless steel. I do not know the grade of this, and you're not going to know that really until time. But for $100, this is what you have. That, now the one above this that's larger, which I would not be interested in, but if you have a large family, it is $200. So this is the unboxing. Now in comparison, you can use a skillet on this, you can grill burgers, whatever. The comparison of this would be, and I think I've showed you guys before, would be the Solo stove, which weighs three pounds, 3.7 I believe. And It is a nice little stove also, and I have in here the, um, you can use alcohol, denatured alcohol, anything in here to, um, to warm your food or even to cook on. Now, the, my problem with the solo stove, it's circular, takes up a, more room in my opinion in a backpack. I, I like things that fold down flat, like the firebox stove, which I'll put that video at the end of this video. And it'll be a nice comparison. Firebox stove is heavier than this. So, but they're both very comparable. I do like the grill a lot. We're going to see how this sucker cooks in a few minutes. And we'll be cooking venison chops. So, before we start batoning some wood, I wanted to correct something. The solo stove weighs 9 ounces. The firebox stove weighs le just a hair less than four pounds, and the Bigfoot grill we're reviewing weighs five pounds. So it gives you a little idea of the weights of those three uh, stoves. So the reliable, very sturdy Phobos, we need to get some, it ran the other day, so I'm sure it's not gonna be the easiest thing in the world to get this fire going. And obviously an axe would be better at this point. And this Phobos, I'm here to tell you, F-O-B-O-S, there is no way that you're going to hurt this knife.
need to get this is really really soaking wet bigfoot we're gonna set this sucker up and cook some venison so i went to school because my wife basically insisted i look at those directions and she was correct it's got a base it's pretty simple this opens up it's extremely quick you lock this down just like a luggage or a trunk and you do the same on the other one and you're good to go throw that in there and you have your grill that you can change the heights on this. So what I want to do, and you saw it was extremely quick to put up, and it's solid, which is awesome. But before I start, I discussed earlier about my concern. If this is a, we got a raging fire in here and you want to lower this, this is going to get hot. So we're going to try something to start. I'm going to take my Leatherman and see if we can lower this one at a time. And as you can see, that might be a little difficult. So this is what I wanted to look at. You see how that is? So I am not sure if someone out there has used this, how to lower this without scorching your fingers and getting the first degree. So you're going to have to most likely figure out how low you want this before you start. And then obviously just feed it the fire. So one of the things I did, I gave a presentation about three weeks ago. And I did not replenish my container of cotton balls. So shame on me. When you always replenish after a trip, best to do it right when you get back. So, and if you don't, you're going to find yourself in a world of hurt if you get in a position where you need the material so we'll take this cotton ball i could do a bic lighter but for the sake that we are survive outdoors we are going to do this as if you're in a situation and you need to I'll have you some small sticks next by. And you'll see the one clip where the other day when we started this video, the wood was absolutely soaked. And I'm trying to baton some wood and it just was too drenched. So we have to, we're coming back now and finishing this up. Nothing like building a fire in 80 degree temps and high humidity, I always say. The grate is really nice on this, I like that. So, go through fast food, wherever, grab you some extra condiments, they always come in handy especially for backpacking, hiking. So, a little Land O'Lakes butter before we start. Not a big fan of Pam, our aerosols for the environment. We're going to, we better butter this down. And the reason why is on any kind of grill or grate like this, and you're gonna put on meat, it's gonna stick. And then you're gonna run into an issue with you know, the great moving, and then you run all kinds of issues. So that is one thing I always try to remember to do. And let's put this on 
We'll put it on three on the top. There we go. Now what I seasoned these steaks with was, this is online and I'm telling you it's awesome. My whole family likes it. Dano's uh, seasoning. This is the original. They make a spicy version. I like them both. But this one is, uh, it's awesome. Excellent. And it's reasonable. And then the other one is for a buck, I think I paid for this, or a buck and a half at Walmart. It's really nice. I've used it. Is it salt, paprika, curry, cayenne, garlic salt, black pepper, and it's really handy. So that's what I used to season these chops. These are venison chops. And we're going to have to feed this fire, but we'll get there. Nice and lean venison chops. All right, we finally got this fire cooking. And a little bit of sticking going on. Not a lot, but boy, if I wouldn't have buttered that, that would have been an issue. I'm going to try to sear these, even if I don't want to sear them. We're going to sear them. How about that? Looks like the fire is going to take control here. Can move these off a little bit to the side. Almost lost that puppy. On venison, I just am not a big fan of well done. And very healthy for you. You can don't have to worry about the cholesterol. So, so far, definitely giving this a plus. This is an excellent grill for car camping, um, pulling up the side of the road. And I was just about to say, this is a really safe grill compared to some of the other ones out there as a piece of wood just fell off. Thank God it's damp here. And that's what's nice about this base. So we're gonna let these cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna get back with you. I'm gonna throw some more logs on the fire and we will be back. All right, in summation, on a one to 10, 10 being the absolute best grill ever, I'm gonna give this a solid nine. What I've learned is I would just keep this on really the third highest the highest level on the grill unless it's windy then i would probably drop it and have a small fire to warm up some beans or warm up whatever but for cooking i would definitely like it on the highest and that way i can continue to feed this um, the wood and not have an issue so there are our venison chops can't wait to chow down on these bigfoot bushcraft grill excellent grill they make a larger size like i said um, questions, throw them down below. I'm going to put the video of the um, firebox stove at the end of this. And um, if you get it, I hope you enjoy it. Guys, keep your eyes on the rise and your face to the wind. Keep your belly full. See you.